Jarrett with the Wine Tree Liquors, and we're doing a beer tasting today in advance of the Octo Beer Fest this Saturday here in Evansville, Indiana. First beer we're going to be tasting is a Bloomington, uh, this is Upland's Wheat Ale from Bloomington, Indiana. Uh, it's a wheat ale. It's a very light, it's easy to drink. Sniff it, give a good smell of it, let it uh, yeah. permeate through and you'll get the different flavors. This here is just pretty much going to be a wheat, so you're not going to get any, any type of major flavors or fruits out of it. And then you just sip it. <clears throat> And let it just soak in and you'll be able to taste different things what you're tasting there is the wheat in it in all beers there's wheat hop there's barley malts or there can be wheat malts they can use corn malts there's different types of malts and there's hops there's also the water and yeast and the yeast is uh, in there because the yeast converts the sugars into alcohol um, all beers have to have hops the hops in there is what gives a lot of beers the hoppiness. This beer doesn't have much hops at all because you, otherwise you would, you would taste it. This has more of the malt and it's wheat and easy to drink. What did you all think about that? Not bad. I like it. This will likely be my favorite of the six mm -hmm. we're about to try. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yes. I'm not huge on wheat beer, but I like that. It's not yeah. real heavy. Now this next one, uh, most of y'all probably had before too. Have you ever had of an Oktoberfest? Oktoberfest is the big uh, German festival over in Germany every year. This one here is by Paul Lanner. Uh, they've been brewing beer since the 1600s. Uh, this is a Marzen style. An Oktoberfest is a Marzen style. It's kind of an amber com color. It's got a maltier uh, texture to it, a little more sweet finish to it and it's lower in alcohol. It's usually most uh, Oktoberfest beers are around four to five percent at the most because as you've, if you've seen the big German steins they drink out of at the Oktoberfest, those things are full and they hold a lot of beer. You could not drink a bunch if it was high alcohol. So they have a lower alcohol so people can drink more of them and it's a session st uh, style ale but it's uh, very easy to drink. It smells different yes. than the last one. This, this looks more like a, a beer. Get the sweetness in there. I like it. Oh. I'm still hanging in there. Get the it's making me burp. No, me too. <laughs> it's easy drinking. There's not a bite on the bitter finish. Yeah, there's not yeah a, it's really not. There's not a weird... Some people, when they're getting into beers and <clears> into <throat> tastings, don't like the... You know, most people are used to drinking the Miller Lights and Bud Lights and the Coors Lights, but when you get into craft beers and stuff like this, imported beers, yeah. there's just, they use much more ingredients, a lot more ingredients. Yeah. A lot more pounds of hops, more malts, it takes longer to brew, a lot of the processes do, but the beer is a lot better. It's just easier to drink and it's, it tastes much better. change up the style a little bit and we're going to go with an American Pale Ale. This is from Evansville's own 10 Man Brewing mm -hmm. uh, over on Franklin Street. This is a Pale Ale. Um, some of you may have had an IPA before but a real, which are real hoppy. Uh, this has a little bit of hop character to it but it's easy to drink. It's not hoppy at all uh, but it is a easier to drink uh, Pale Ale. It's a bit more I thought maybe you had it before. <laughs> I've had some Tin Man beers, but I don't know if I've had that one. I've had their lager and I've had their red. red. Yes. Uh, and I really like this red. is This is one of the more popular ones. Oh, there's are good things about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, just a little bit. But there's. Yeah. Perfect. So this one does have. Right. You can wipe the aftertaste. Oh, <laughs> wait. This one stays with you. Giddy up. Yeah. It's a pale ale. <laughs> but. Wow. <laughs> There's hops from all over that, that, that they use in different types of beers, and they use a couple different ones in this one, and some of these others use them. Uh, but they, a lot of them come from Washington and up in uh, the Willamette Valley, and uh, yeah, they're, not, they're not local hops. No, and there's none around here, unless. But there's hop farms popping up all over the U.S. 
but uh, mm. it's a uh, they're really growing the hop farms are because there's so many breweries now in the u.s yeah there are now over 3100 breweries in the u.s we're adding about a new go america <laughs> uh, the, the last time we had that many breweries was 1894 and in 1894 we had uh, that much but the highest we had uh, 4172 breweries in the u.s back in 1872 wow and that was at the height that was in the height basically every little city and every little town yeah. had their own brewery right. Brewery, yeah, and that's how it's going to be now. <laughs> Next one is called a session IPA. Now, this is an India Pale Ale. Uh, most IPAs are usually between five and seven percent, and they're a little higher in alcohol, a little more hoppy. But this is called a session IPA. In the past year or so, brewers have been coming out with a session IPA, an IPA that's got a lot of hop, but it's easier to drink and there's not a lot of alcohol in it where you can have several without going overboard. This here I think is about four and a half, uh, 4.7 percent and it's only got 42 IBUs. That's international bitter units. The higher this number goes to 100 and even past 100, mm -hmm. that's how hoppy and bitter the beer okay. can be. This one's lower, uh, so it's not going to be as as hoppy. Ooh. Oh, they're in the That one's got an aroma, mm -hmm. doesn't it? It that's, smells like a wreath now. Oh wow! Whoo boy! Yeah, they use a lot of hops in it, but there's not overpowering. We look to Ryan. It doesn't. Uh, it's not as strong Michael. as the Tin Man. This beer is very popular. We sell it in 15 pack yeah. cans, and it sells like crazy during the summer. It's almost got a little bit of a tiny little. It's a little. It is a little. Gang, gang. Gang. It, is a little <laughs> it makes. It just makes me want to make. Gang noises. I don't know why. We have like a. A fingernail polish remover. <laughs> the way it attacks the senses from the inside. <laughs> you know, last time we were, last time we were drinking fingernail polish together. Right. Yeah. IPAs are an acquired taste. Yeah. Some people I know start off in the bat and they just love them. We have some customers just love IPAs, but then others are just like, wow, it takes a long time. <clears throat> I've been into beer about 12 years now, and it took me within the past four years to start getting into, into hops. And in I used to drink the porters and stouts and the multi beers and the doppelbox, but now I'm on the IPAs, and I, I, I like it all now. Well, especially when you have your own unit of bitterness, which typically right. would come off as a bad thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that I hear that and I think that, but um, this tastes it's still very much like the last one. To it's, me. Yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's it's not, not bad. It's subtle. No, I, think it's yeah, I thought it was a little stronger than the, the last one. Yeah, really? Actually, yeah. if I had to pick one, I'd go with this one before the last one. I would. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. needs a water and pretzel yeah. necklace, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> Provided by Susan G. Komen this Saturday at uh, October Fest. <laughs> Where's that going to be? It's uh, up the road. What time? Four eight seven. Four eight. That's a big bottle right there. Uh, yes, this is from New Belgium. Uh, this is a lot of the craft beer now are, uh, are doing beers in 22 ounces. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them out there. They all do a lot of them. And a lot of them will do special ones or they just carry a lot of them in this. This one's called Hop the Pond. What they did is they went around the world in several different countries and bought several different hops from several different countries. And then they also went around and bought different malts from different countries <laughs> and so they put all this together and brewed a beer basically from around the world and it's called Hop the Pond and it is a double IPA. So this has a different smell to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. I smell Ooh. grapefruit. No, yeah, I like the yeah. grapefruit. It's, I think it's got more of that grapefruit smell than the last two did. Yeah, they had more of that pine bomber kind of smell. What'd you say? They call those bombers. They call them bombers. Oh, oh. To Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's I, good. I, yeah, it's October good. That's is good. Do you taste the malt difference? Yeah, it's definitely sweet. And the hot difference. Yeah, yeah. there's a little sweetness to it. Yeah. Actually, I didn't think I was gonna like this one. But I would say, but definitely like something that you want but to. But my palate is not as experienced, and not just right. you know, yeah. chug. <clears throat> yeah, this is not because these IPAs are not like shotgun kind of pop a hole in the back of it so you can pound it down a little quicker. I've <laughs> Really? Explain how the shotgun process works. On that. We're unfamiliar with this concept. You usually just take a key and pop it in the back. Yeah, yeah, it makes the air flow a little better. Yeah. I have friends. I have a couple of friends who brew their own you, beer. You've never they, shotgun a beer, but you've seen other people do yes, it. Yes, right. Because I'm a responsible drinker. Right. This one here is Shaffley's Pumpkin Ale. 
this one here is out of St. Louis. Uh, Shafley's been making this for quite a while. It's just become popular in the last several years. I've been drinking it for uh, probably six, eight years. It, it tastes like pumpkin pie in a bottle. Uh, it's 8%. They use a lot of pumpkins, nutmeg, uh, allspice, cloves. Put that all in there. Any and cool whip? And you, you, you have a cool whip finish. It's a cool whip finish. It's a whip. whip. It's a cool whip finish. It does have actually a trip. But it, it is very, very tasty. See, I'm not big on pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice. Well, if you don't like pumpkin pie, you won't like Try this. Mm. I can tolerate pumpkin pie. Mm. I can't even. That's it. I can't even. No, it's no, it's great. I can, yeah, I can definitely taste the pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. The spices. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. We have another one from Southern Tier. That's crazy. Uh, a beer um, from Southern Tier Brewing that will be at Octo Beer Fest also called Pumpkin. And the Shaftley and Pumpkin are my personal two best favorites. This has more of the pumpkin with the cool wood finish and the southern tears pumpkin has all the pumpkin but with the graham cracker crust finish. Ooh, wow. You taste Ooh. the graham cracker Ooh, now crust. That's, I can get behind I that. Like a beer I have, it is delicious. That's it is true. delicious. Huh. But uh, no, that is good. I I would That's not bad. What about your Kentucky Brown? I don't hate pumpkin stuff. It's just not my first mm -hmm. choice, but that, that's not bad. It's, it gets severely overrated this time of year. I would agree. I don't know that I could drink a whole bottle of this though. It might be a bit too much for more of a dessert beer. Yeah, dessert. Yeah. This is great around the holidays after you've had Thanksgiving dinner, sip mm -hmm. on one of these. And... Um, basically, if you come out, have an open mind. Um, just have a clean palate when you come in. Don't be chewing gum or have spearmint or something. It'll mess yeah. your taste buds when you come in. And pace yourself um, because there's a lot of really good beers and um, try different styles. Just because you said you know you've had one style and you had it one time, you had a stout and you didn't like it, that doesn't mean you won't like another stout. Uh, try different things because there's so many out there to try. There's a lot of really great breweries that are going to be there from all across the country and all around the world. Um, but there's a lot to try. Just pace yourself. Uh, get you some pretzels and uh, help out the Susan G. Cohn Foundation and uh, just have a good time and um, don't drink and drive. That's the main thing. If you, you know. I'm riding with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Wine Tree Liquor for coming out and letting us sample a few beers and you can sample these and so many more uh, this Saturday, Octo Beer Fest, four to eight, Vandenberg County, 4-H Center. You can get your tickets now, octobeerfestin.com, it's okay. T-O-Beerfestin.com. Uh, we will see you there. Cheers. Clinky.